Hey everyone, and welcome to our review of this awesome Sterling engine model. I'll leave a link in the description for more information about Sterling Kit who provided this engine model. So let's get started with our review and see what makes this engine so special. This engine is fueled by 95% ethyl alcohol, and most of the Sterling engine models use this type of fuel. We will begin by examining the design and build quality of the engine. The first thing that I notice is the weight, which is not so small. Some of the models use wooden plates, but this one is made from steel. That's why the weight is 736 grams or 1.62 pounds. And the reason why I like this sturdy design is that the engine will not move because of vibrations when working. As you can see, this is a one cylinder engine. And let me explain how it works. The Stirling engine works by using heat to expand and contract the air inside the cylinder. The cylinder has a piston that moves up and down due to the expansion and contraction of the air. As the air is heated, it expands pushing the piston up. Then, as it cools, it contracts, pulling the piston down. This motion is converted into rotational energy by a flywheel attached to the piston rod, which can be used to power small devices, such as a small LED lamp in this case. I forgot to mention that this particular model comes with a spare glass tube and O-ring in case of damage or wear and tear. And now, let's try to run it! My first try was outside, and I was unable to run it for a longer time, but I think this is due to the outside temperature being too low. I try to run it after one minute of warming up, and then again after 30 seconds. After two unsuccessful tries, I succeeded on the third attempt, where I warmed up a tube for a little longer. And now let's check how it's working. But the most interesting part came when I detached the belt from the flywheel. In that way, it does not spend power to produce energy, and it will spin much faster. According to the manufacturer, it can spin at about 1700 RPM, and I think that this was probably that speed. I tried to record it in slow motion so you could better see the movement in the cylinder. And here's how that turned out. I must say that I really enjoyed watching it and one more test that I conducted was to see how long it could work on a full tank of fuel. But first, I checked the capacity of this small bottle so we could see how much fuel it could hold. As you can see, it can hold about 8 milliliters of fuel which I think can last about 15-16 minutes in my opinion. But let's run it and see the actual result. Okay, right now, it has already been running for about 10 minutes, and there is plenty of fuel left. I think it can definitely last for more than 15 or 16 minutes, but I'll keep running it until it completely runs out of fuel to get the most accurate result possible.
So, it turns out that it can run easily for more than 30 minutes on a full tank of fuel. Obviously, the 95% alcohol was burning slower than I was expecting. I also wanted it to keep running so I could see if it could run for longer time without breaking down. So, after checking it in detail and letting it run for more than an hour, here's my thought. The design and build quality of the engine are commendable. The weight of 736 grams, or 1.62 pounds, adds to its robustness, and the inclusion of spare parts, such as a glass tube and O-ring, is also a positive thing. During testing, the engine's performance was affected by external temperature conditions. It required adequate warming up, especially in colder temperatures, to achieve consistent operation. However, once warmed up, the engine exhibited satisfactory performance. I could not measure how fast the engine was spinning, but when I detached the belt from the flywheel, it was running very fast. So I think that it can reach speeds that are claimed to be 1700 RPM. As you could see, it could easily run for 30 minutes without any issues. Fortunately, I couldn't find any issues with the engine. The build quality was high. It's heavy and it looks really impressive. Please tell us what you think about this Sterling engine model. As I mentioned earlier, I will leave a link in the description with an additional discount code so you can check it for yourself. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos about various tech and gadget reviews. Thanks for watching.